All right, welcome into Friday's edition's vlog here of Collada and the Prince just finishing up today's show. As uh, today, again, LSU defensive coordinator still in the news, but we talked to Roy Jones Jr. This dude, uh, we talked to Darius Geis, Matt did earlier this week, and one thing that we set, uh, we took from the interview was the kid doesn't like confidence. Um, Roy Jones Jr., pushing 50, did still thinks he can get out, whip up on anybody. Okay, here's, here's the deal when it comes to Roy Jones Jr. and confidence. He, he's been the champion of the world. He's earned it. Uh, this is not your kind of false bra- bravado or anything of the sort. This is a guy who comes out there and says he's going to punch you in the face, and then he does it, and he knocks you out. Yeah, and look, he's spending a lot of time in Baton Rouge, and he's bringing yeah. some events down here. It's good to get a personality like him to bring some notoriety to South Louisiana. Yeah, certainly. You know, and, and talking about trying to put his next big fight card here in Baton Rouge, talking with a bunch of people when he's coming into town, he's going to visit with uh, with the LSU basketball program, go to the LSU-Georgia uh, game tomorrow night. So should be a fun time. And, Jordy, for us, for guys like us, we know that, that you know, the majority of what people want to listen and talk about is local sports. But when you get an opportunity to talk with a guy like Roy Jones Jr., uh, and then he comes on and he absolutely is fantastic on the air, it's really fun for us to do. Yeah. Easy not to get butt hurt when that guy comes on, right? How he bad said, was uh, – <laughs> He said butt hurt three times. Super butt hurt. Um, how bad was that last night for Johnny Jones and, and LSU basketball to fall on the road in a, in a golden opportunity to get – a win on the road in conference, first conference game, fall in overtime. Jordy, did you think when they got the game into overtime that they were going to find a way to win? I did. I did too. And it's, I, I think that's the disappointing thing here is that they played bad. They put themselves in a position to, uh, you know, kind of get away and steal one. Uh, and then they, they weren't able to do that. Only two points in the overtime period. Not really good for them. I think there's a lot of questions that they've got to sit down and talk about as a team, as a staff. But they don't have a lot of time. Tomorrow night at the PMAC, yeah. 8 o'clock tip-off, LSU and Georgia. So uh, you're looking at a really quick turnaround after a poor performance. You think on Monday when we get back here that uh, we'll be talking about an LSU defensive coordinator? I do. I think that by Monday morning we'll, we'll, have, we'll have some clarity on what's going on with this. Um, and I think that you know, when you look at what Les Miles is talking about you know, in his staff meetings and, and just trying to, to find that guy and get everything set up where they can continue to finish up this recruiting class. I think he's looking to have this hire done, you know, sometime over the weekend because they'd like to have at least one big staff meeting before they all get out on the road. Have we talked about the name you think they'll hire? You know, the more we, th- we talk about this, the more I think that it's going to be somebody that none of us are think- thinking about. I agree. I agree. All right, Collada and the Prince, 1045ESPN.com. Go back and check out the podcast. You can catch sound interviews with Roy Jones Jr. We had Nick Brissett on earlier this week. We talked a lot about the LSU defensive coordinator. All that sound is available online. We're on Twitter at 1045ESPN. And catch us each weekday morning, 7 to 9 a.m., 1045-1049ESPN Baton Rouge. Have a great weekend.